What's cooking guys and welcome back to my channel. As you can see from today's video title, we are doing another Eid vlog. Eid Mubarak to those of you celebrating. I hope you have a wonderful time with your families and your friends and get to eat a lot of food and just cherish the moments that you are blessed with. So in today's video, I'm also going to be sharing my quick aloo samosa recipe. These are potato samosas. Aloo literally equals to potato in my language. Uh, and these are completely vegetarian, so all of my vegetarian friends, you're going to really love this recipe. It's not going to be detailed too much like I usually do in my recipe videos, but I just wanted to share a quick video with you guys of what I'll be bringing. I'm also going to be bringing my chicken tikka skewers, which I recently shared in a recipe video, so do check that out if you haven't already. And I'm also going to be sharing with you what I'll be wearing today. I have two options to select from. One is a beautiful blue shalwar kameez and one is a beautiful lavender purple shalwar kameez. For those of you who don't know what shalwar kameez is, shalwar kameez is basically the traditional outfit worn in Pakistan, which is my country. So today is actually Eid, but I wasn't able to celebrate today because I do have a very important deadline at work. But my family and I decided why not set up a little picnic over the weekend and get together. It was just gonna be easier for everybody to get together on a weekend anyway. And over the weekend, the weather is supposed to be super beautiful, sunny, and very comfortable outside. So if you like vlog style videos or even recipe videos, do consider subscribing if you're new here and you'd like to join my foodie family. And also hit the bell icon so you're notified every time I upload a new video. And now let's get into it. So here I have five potatoes that I'm going to be peeling first. I'm going to be boiling these potatoes. You can boil the potato whole and then peel it and cut it as you need to. Uh, but I like to peel and cut the potatoes before I boil them. I feel that they boil faster that way. But for this step, you can do whatever you like, guys. And here are all of my potato chunks that I've already washed. You want to transfer these into a big pot to boil them and fill this pot up with water and then on a medium high heat you can just put the pot filled with the potatoes and water to boil the potatoes till they are fork tender. You want to also add a few pinches of salt for the potatoes to get a little bit flavored. This is not going to flavor the potatoes too much. It just helps the potatoes to get a little salt in them before adding the rest of the seasonings later. And here I'm just checking with a fork uh, to see if the potatoes are cooked through. And that is why it's called fork tender because you should use a fork to see how tender the potatoes have actually gotten. And now you can drain the hot water out completely. I've transferred the potatoes into a large bowl here and I'm just going to roughly mash them. You don't have to over mash them. Here, we're not making mashed potatoes. You wanna leave a few chunks of the potatoes in there, but for the most part, you can roughly mash these and then set it aside for now. And now because we have to season the potato samosa filling, in a large wok here, I'm going to add some oil and let that heat up. To the hot oil, I'm adding about a teaspoon of cumin seeds. I'm also going to add a little pepper flakes here to your taste and then just toss that around into the hot oil so that you can flavor the oil. Then I'm adding some coriander powder about half to one teaspoon. I have some red chili powder here as well about a teaspoon but you can use this to your taste and toss that around in the hot oil. You do not want this to burn so this literally should be about a second or two of tossing around in the hot oil and then you want to quickly add in your mashed potatoes and I'm going to mix the potatoes into the hot oil with all of the other seasonings that we just added. This is going to flavor the bland potatoes that we boiled earlier and then I'm adding one green chili that I chopped finely. I have half of a medium red onion that I also chopped very finely. I have a handful of chopped cilantro or coriander leaf and some salt to my taste. You can adjust as you need to but I like to add enough salt in here because the potatoes really need it otherwise it's just going to be very bland. And then I'm just tossing the potatoes in with the rest of the ingredients making sure everything is really well incorporated and this is pretty much your aloo samosa filling or potato filling and you don't have to keep cooking this for too long once this is all mixed up you can set this aside and let it cool down completely before filling it into the empanada sheet. So I've cooled down my potato samosa filling and here it is and then as usual I'm using empanada sheets which 
make probably the best samosa sheets that you can use with the least amount of work in the kitchen and I've taken one of the sheets and I've rolled it out with a rolling pin just slightly and then you want to cut that in half and make like a triangular shape and seal all the edges like I'm showing here I've sped up this process because I've shared empanada sheet samosas in several other videos that you can check out I will link them in the description box below as well if you want a full detailed recipe uh, but you can see what I'm doing here I'm sealing all the edges and then you want to fill up this triangular shape cone shape that you've made with the potato filling or any other filling that you make in your house and then you want to seal the edges on the top as well making sure there's no holes or anything because once we get into frying these you don't want the oil seeping into the samosa that's just going to be very greasy and oily and then with a fork I'm just crimping the edges at the end making sure the empanada sheet potato samosa is completely sealed properly but also it gives a little nice design and then you can make all of your samosas like this and then we will fry these up and on the day of the Eid party in the picnic I got up super early to fry these bad boys up it was like 5 in the morning and I was making samosas you can also air fry these if you are trying to be a little bit healthier and these empanada sheets cook really really fast um, once they are dropped in the hot oil it only takes about a minute or so sometimes even less so you have to keep your eye out on these samosas as they're frying you don't want them to burn at all and I'm just going to gently turn them over once they start to get a little bit of color you know they are cooking really well and once they look done to me nice golden brown color I'm going to take these out on a plate lined with paper towels uh, so that any excess oil is drained out as well and they are just nice and crispy I'm gonna be packing these up to take to the picnic I'm also bringing my air fryer chicken thicker skewers can you guys believe these were made in the air fryer guys they look absolutely incredible. I have shared the recipe for these recently and I'm going to be taking these with me so I will see you at the picnic with all the food. So this is my first option you guys and you can see how beautiful it is. It has beautiful detail. You can see all the little embroidered flowers, the pink, the cyan orange and navy blue and the material is a beautiful like chiffon type material it's really gorgeous i really love the colors in it and i think it's going to be perfect for like a spring eid day especially in the park i have another option that i'm going to show you what do you guys think of this option let me know in the comments below and i'll show you guys the second option and let me know if you like that one too so guys, this is my second option. Look at that beautiful purpley lavender color. It's such a beautiful like pastel color. I'm really leaning towards this one. Let me know which one you guys like better. And look at this detailing, the embroidery on this is gorgeous. And then you have little mirrors with like threading on top and it's just so gorgeous. And even this material is like a chiffon type material. Um, I guess it's chiffon, I'm not sure, but it does look like chiffon to me. And this embroidery is just so gorgeous and very, very detailed. And this is at the bottom of the arm with like more little mirrors and like a lacy type of material as well. I really, really love this one, guys. These two suits I got from my sister. She gifted them to me and I really appreciate it, obviously. This is my second option. I'll show you guys how both of them look on me in just a second. So guys, I also want to show you quickly the accessories I'll be wearing. Most likely I'm just going to be wearing some earrings and these were also gifted to me by my sister. Look at how gorgeous they are. They're very neutral. You can wear it with any type of uh, clothing, whether it's like Eastern clothing or Western. But yeah, these are so beautiful and I really, really love um, how simple they are, but also very, very elegant. And I also have these earrings. Um, these were given to me by my sister-in-law and I really, really love these. These are very traditional Pakistani or Indian type of earrings. And these are called Jhumka earrings. And you can see the little detailing on it. They're so beautiful. I really like these. These are a little bit heavy. They're all both actually a little bit heavy, um, but they are really, really great quality as you can see um, these are both from blossom box I'll leave a link down below um, for the website for blossom box jewelry sometimes their jewelry is on sale and their prices are pretty reasonable so these are pretty much going to be my accessory options so here is the blue shalwar kameez on me 
you can see how beautiful it looks I feel like it elongates my shape and I really like this but I won't be wearing this today I do prefer wearing the purple one because it's a nice daytime picnic it's going to look super beautiful and bright and I'm going to be matching it with the earrings that my sister got me from blossom box that I just showed earlier and I really like both of these outfits you let me know in the comments below which one you prefer on me so I'm on my way now to Pennsylvania to meet my family for the picnic I have my samosas ready and my chicken thicker skewers so I will see you guys over there so I can show you all the food that we'll be eating and just having a good family time our food spread for the Eid picnic. Here is some Moroccan chicken with vegetables. There's some Moroccan rice. My sister brought beef sliders with her creamy pasta salad. I brought my samosas as you saw and the chicken tikka skewers. And here's a little close-up of the ground beef and cheese sliders that my sister brought. These were absolutely delicious. I think I had a couple of those. And here's my little plate with the samosa, chicken, and the creamy pasta salad. That creamy pasta salad, it pairs so well with the chicken. And then my mom was making her special masala chai in the park. She brought a little stove that she got from a store and that works so well for outdoor picnics. And she already put some tea, fennel, a little cinnamon, cardamom pods for the chai. And now she's pouring some water here to make the tea. And you want to cover this up so it can come to a boil. Once this comes to a boil, she's adding some evaporated milk to it this gives it a really nice and rich creamy flavor she also added some raw cane sugar already in the tea which gives it a hint of sweetness and once the chai comes to a complete boil um, you can turn the stove off and pour the hot masala chai into your cups and this part was absolute heaven especially with my sister-in-law's chocolate cake it was so moist and creamy and there were so many flavors going on here it was chocolate coffee and the texture of the whipped cream and everything else that she put on that cake it was absolutely delicious with the chai and it was the perfect ending to our little Eid picnic Hey guys, so I just got back home and I pretty much wanted to end this video here. I am a very private person, um, but I wanted to show you guys a little bit of the cultural and family traditions for Eid. And I hope you guys enjoyed the alu samosa recipe. All the ingredients will be listed down below in the description box for your convenience. And also, I hope you guys enjoyed the outfits that I showed you. Let me know in the comments below which outfit you liked better, the blue or the purple one. Make sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe before leaving, guys. I'll be seeing you in the next one. Until then, take care of yourselves.